Well, hello, fellow simmers. I'm making this brief tutorial to show you how to make the Wicked Whims by Lovers Lab work for um, your MacBook. I uh, recently contacted the mod um, creator because I had heard online that this mod wasn't compatible with MacBooks, and he told me that was false. He said it should work for your MacBook. Not should. It, it's made for the MacBook and the PCs, so I shouldn't have any issues with it. I watched a couple videos and pieced things together to kind of figure out what was going on um, because I really wanted the mod to work. I have a lot of custom content in my game and a lot of mods because I really enjoy what they add to the game. Now, when you click on your computer, if you have it set up correctly, I'll quick show you the setup after I'm done showing you this. Your This screen should pop up and it says script, um, script mods. And at the bottom or wherever it's placed, it should say Turbo Driver Wicked Whim Scripts. That is very necessary to be in this box. If that's not in this box, it's not going to work in your game. I found that out the hard way. Um, then you also need to have turbo driver animations, create a sim, the create a sim penis debug, exhibitionism, main objects, overrides, and woohoo. Those need to be in the main part of this folder. Then also you would need the animations in order to make this work. You need the animations also installed. You don't need to have all of them. You can have just a few, but you absolutely do need these animations to be in the game to be able to use this mod. Now, in order to make sure those things are working correctly, you're going to need to be, let's go to game options and to other. You need to have this checked, the enable mods allowed, enable custom content and mods. Those boxes need to be checked and you need to apply them and then, you know, start your game and then they should be there. Then that box that I just showed you should show up in your game with those things on it. The way I made it work was this. So we're going to go back out here. I went into my documents and then found my Sims 4 in documents folder, clicked on it. This is the screen that comes up. Then what I did was you click on mods. I, like I said, I have tons of mods and lots of custom content. And I usually keep them organized because it's a lot easier to find the culprit if something is wrong. And it's just a lot easier when you have things organized because if you're like me, you like all kinds of stuff in your game. It just makes it flow easier and it just saves you a lot of time in finding things. Um, so what you do need is inside this, you know, after you installed it correctly and it, everything went through, you're going to click on the Wicked um, Whims mod, the um, folder, I'm sorry, and then these things all need to be listed there. What I then did was I initially didn't have this in the script mods. It wasn't showing up. So I was trying to find out how I can get it to show up in the game, and then I found... I kind of Googled and did a little bit of research and found that sometimes if things are in too many folders, your computer can't find them to put them into the game or to use them. So then I just copied and pasted. I copied this here by right clicking. I literally just copied the entire item and then went out here back to the mods folder. And then I just pasted it right there. I need it to show up that way the computer could find it. That's literally all I did. And then it worked. And I had no other issues besides that. I just downloaded my animations and here are my animations. They're all in here. I have, I think I have all of them because I wanted to have all of that in my game. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions, just ask me. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to answer them all because I'm not a mod creator, but I did figure this out and I do kind of know a little bit about you know, installation of mods and stuff, especially after me recently, like trying to figure this out, I really found a lot of helpful information. So if there's anything that I can help you with, I hope I can just let me know on the bottom and have a good day.